Yes, people, man. Welcome back. Welcome back. And this is Knowledge Bullet, where I'll be dropping you some dimes. I'll be giving you some dimes, man. Dimes wake you up, man. Give you the real powers for breakfast. So you're mad. So this week on Knowledge Bullet, we're going to be talking about the Tartarian Empire slash mud floods. You heard about the Tartarian Empire? It's a deep topic. For me, it was clarification that the rabbit hole is deeper than we know. Just when you think you believe you know something, I believe this one throws it all out the window. Like for real. I will be doing extensive research into this, but for now, I will present to you what I know. Please leave a comment or a link or share something that could enlighten us further. I might even do an episode with someone that lives and breathes Tartarian Empire life. And uh, we can wrap this up sweetly for you lot. But for now, I'm going to give you what I know. I'm going to confirm to you one thing at the moment. It is a theory, so it's not a fact. But so is gravity and so is globe world. It is what it is. It's a theory. It's all a theory. I gravitated towards the Tartarian Empire because I am a flat earther. I believe we live on a plane that is electromagnetic, which means everything on this earth that has electricity flowing through it will return back to reset position if i jump i will land back on the earth because the earth calls me you call it gravity i call it electromagnetic it is what it is so what is tartarian you ask tartarians is supposed to be a advanced civilization that was wiped out by a mud flood um pre-1850 the tartarians are the originators of red bricks so when you see anything with red bricks you know that was from that time period when you look at the bricks um it definitely symbolizes the times they're in because the times they were in sorry because they don't use red bricks no more not like that and i actually saw a red brick building on the way to the studio today and i was i was questioning is that the old tartarian building and guess what it was because it had basements and it had the arch, the, the, the grand arch doors. And most of these Tartarian buildings, they leave um, symbols on their buildings. And I saw a lot of symbols on these red brick buildings, especially that arch door. That arch door is a big winner for me because I believe they were giants at one point that roamed the earth. And if those massive arch doors, <laughs> why do humans build massive arch doors for? For who? Well, for themselves, really? What for? What for? But that's just that's just something I'm putting together myself. Yeah, so don't bite my head off for it, but it is what it is. So what is Tartarian Geox? The advanced civilization that was wiped out by a mud flood pre-1850. The Tartarians are the originators of the red bricks. Just remember that, yeah? But one thing I couldn't track or nail, even isolate, was the correct timeline. I know I said pre-1850, but I, c- I can't give you more than that because the the knowledge is so limited on this. Until more people come out with more more information, I'm going to give you what there is out there, people. If you find more, please link me to the information. I'm hungry, always hungry. You feel me? Two questions that I had was if that was pre-1850 and that was the last reset, who was the people that repopulated these areas when was the last reset then because crazy because you can't really find much on it to be fair you can't really find much in it but if you're woke you know where to go you feel me to be fair i'm gonna be honest with you when when i see stories that don't really add up i've got i've got to scratch my head and think why don't it add up yeah because i couldn't really find the cause of the mud floods but and I'm not really sure if it was a natural a natural phenomenon or a cover-up for something. But my power senses are tingling and I know how the game goes, you feel me? Most, most likely a cover-up. One thing that is shocking, yeah, because I've read a couple of encyclopedias in my time and I've never ever come up with these. It's never ever come up. Tartarian Empire has never ever shown up on no encyclopedia especially on the encyclopedia of russia or history of china slash mongolia they don't seem to mention it and i mentioned these countries because tartarian 
is supposed to be located between the regions of Russia and China. <laughs> and I'm bringing this up because a lot of buildings around that region are being dug up and them buildings look more advanced than the buildings today. <laughs> I'm not talking about any buildings, I'm talking giant cathedrals are getting dug up. You know how big a cathedral is? Do you know how big a cathedral is? They're grand, they're humongous. And they all, they all got a dome on top of it. Why have all these cathedrals got a dome? But anyway, that's just that's just one aspect of something. But when I look at, when I think of Mongolian people, the image that comes to mind is muddy, rough, Chinese looking people, but they're tough. You feel what I'm saying? But when I read about Mongolia, because seeing what someone's presented to you and reading something for yourself, you build up a better understanding of the subject. If I'm being honest with you. So, well, when I read about Mongolia, Mongolia had the biggest empire in history to this date. Mongolia conquered most of Asia in 20 years. <laughs> the US can't even conquer Middle East and they've been there for 20 years. But Mongolia managed to do it in those ages. I'm just saying something's not adding up then. Something's not adding up then. If, if these people got all the guns and stuff and they still can't conquer a land where people ain't got those resources why are you lot still struggling there must be there must be higher powers dealing with this thing back to mongolia mongolia conquered most of asia in 20 years i find that fascinating only because we're only taught one way about conquering um more time is conquering or this colonialism and most it's just it's just bs but i just thought another theory how do we know the mongolians weren't advanced enough and they just showed their technology to these other regions around them and they all just said yeah that's the way forward because when you look into the Tartarian, Tartarian Empire you will know how advanced it was yeah I believe the Tartarian Empire is a missing link to a lot of conspiracies they put a lot of things to bed if you look at the old buildings pre-1850 they do look extravagant and very royal they do they look they look fascinating man i can't lie even when i when i when i leave here and i cross the road i see a hotel that hotel looks grand as hell and it does look like a tartarian hotel if i'm being honest with you this topic i find it very interesting i do find it very interesting i do find it very interesting so doing my research on the tartarian empire it looked very well off they definitely were more advanced than us today if i'm being honest with you and i'm talking 200 years advance I'm going through the photos right now. I'm seeing crazy, crazy, crazy things out here. Like seriously crazy things. I'm seeing I'm seeing a soldier on the flying contraption holding a gun. What? And the picture's black and white. The soldier's obviously in old clothing. And it's funny enough, it's a US soldier. So ugh, a lot of things just don't make sense. The picture looks mad, it looks mad. I'm also seeing what's that people on cell phones people on cell phones and before 1850 what people on cell phones that's crazy there's there's a giant here giant standing next to a train so giants were in the the old world the tartarians so see see then that explains back to the theory i was saying about them giant arch doors why have they got such big doors? For who? For little humans? It don't make sense to me. It don't make sense to me. So there's, there's a giant here. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh, look at that. I'm seeing, I'm seeing electric cars. And see, this don't surprise me. I'm seeing electric cars, electric scooters, steam vehicles. Motor, mo, what's that? Motor roller skates, you know. Motor roller skates. I like that. I, I could, I'll be, I'll be flying through the streets of one of them. Are you mad? What? Giant, giant trees. A part of that world. Yeah, man. Look into Tartarian people and, and tell them what you see, because it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm, I'm flat Earth all the way. So this just lines up perfectly for me. To be fair. Oh my gosh. I'm seeing I'm seeing the car elevator. 
So a car drives up to the elevator, the elevator lifts it up one level, another car drives up to it, it lifts it up another level, another car drives up to it, lifts up another level. It's like the elevator, the car elevator can take about 12 cars. Oh, wow. So, who's more advanced then? I must ask, who's more advanced? Us now, who uses acres of land to build car parks, or them that use a single car elevator that holds 12 to 14 cars. And it don't look like it's taking up a lot of space, if I'm being honest with you. I'm seeing a lot of black giants. Wow. This is fascinating, man. This is fascinating. I'm seeing segways. Segways ain't... Segways. Wow. And also... Zeppelins. If you don't know what a Zeppelin is, it's a bimp. So like a giant... A balloon that flies through the air. It's not a hot air balloon. It's like another... Like a giant balloon that flies through there with a little propeller. But they they use electricity to run. Ah, and you know what just hit me? If there was a mud flood, that would explain the leaning tower of Pisa. For real, it would, didn't it? It would explain the leaning tower of Pisa. So, what is the purpose of them hiding the Tartarian Empire? What, what, What do you think their purpose is? For me, I think it's to hide our true meaning and true power. Because why would you hide that? And where did it go? How does a world just... How does how does a, a region of advanced people just disappear? It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. So when we talk about ancient mud floods, one of the first conversations people normally bring up to me is Atlantis. You know, super, technolo- super technological advanced race of people. And they're gone. Apparently they're supposed to be underwater. Wait, that something to do with the mud floods? I don't know. I don't know. Sumerians, they were advanced beings as well. And before you know it, the next thing was a genocide and they were wiped out. I'm just saying, you get me? One plus one equals two. Maybe maybe you link the dots yourself. And to me, it looks like our ancestors figured out <laughs> figured out a way and were able to develop and manifest and show the real power of, of what the mind can really do. When it's connected with the with this plane or this world, you want to call it. But to me, it looks like now they're stripping away bits and parts of it. Why are they stripping away? Why? Why? Same reason why they do everything to stop you reaching your full potential. Just know this, people. Just know this. There was a time. So, so if, t- if Tartarian was a real place, you know what? I'm gonna quote you something. They, said, when I was doing my research, they actually said the Tartarians built the great wall of china to keep the chinese out i bet you never heard that one but it's funny they call it the great wall of china i find that really funny but in the tartarian theory it says that they built it to keep the chinese out Mm. Mm. so if it was if so okay let's 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 just break it down it's coming down to free energy free energy yeah, because that's, that's what the world looked like. It was run off free energy. One time you had electric, steam, um, bikes for children, it's free energy. Let's keep it true. So if there was free energy, that means people most likely were not warring. Think about it. That means all your needs are met. You got food, you got heating, you can travel, less stress. People won't be fighting. People won't be fighting. People won't be fighting in that world, but that world don't exist today. And every day today, everybody's fighting. fighting. I just find it a bit of a coincidence, man. It's a bit crazy. It's a bit crazy. So, saying that, there's definitely a plan to keep us in a state of warfare. Because when you're in warfare, you can't grow. You can't grow. You're stuck. You can't think forward. You can't plan the next move. Hmm. It's a bit coincidental, isn't it? That this world just disappeared and it's a free energy world. Hmm. So, if this world is a free world and today we're in the world that charges for everything, for example, electric cars, steam powered cars, how cheap, how cheap would that be to run compared to a petrol diesel car? Hmm? Hmm? Come on, man. So, like I said, definitely a plan to keep us in this state of mind. Free electricity means you won't be charged <laughs> for having solar power, solar panels. Just imagine that. <laughs> so, if if 1850 was a reset, yeah, 
what was the reason for the reset? From 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 what I can see, it looks like they can they had free energy. So the reset, what did they have then that we don't have today? And I will I will clear as they say what it is. It is free energy. We don't have the free energy. Without free energy, you can't make moves. Deep it, deep it, deep it. I'm gonna break something down. This take me. This will take me to Nikola Nikola's Tesla. Yeah, I'm not 100 on his, on his timeline or, the, or when he was born, but I'm sure he was born between the period of 1840 or 1860 or 8. I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. I can't pinpoint it. But but what I do know about Nikola Tesla is that he did invent these free energy coil rings, and if that was the date. If that if I'm correct on the date, yeah, then that means that means when he was alive, the technology that the Tartarians were using was rife, like it was in full swing, or he got the tail end of the remains of that world. And this is why <laughs> they're taking the mick, bruv. They got a Tesla car running on electricity that you gotta charge and pay for when Nikola Tesla <laughs> was giving you free energy. Like you're 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 not doing the man's name in vain, you're taking the mick, bruv. And I'm going to add something to that, yeah? Nikola Tesla lost the war of electricity against a man called Thomas Edison. And if you look at the, the research of Thomas Edison, they'll tell you Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. Thomas Edison was a Freemason, just to let you know that, by the way. He invented other utilities to compete. For example, he invented the camera, apparently. When I look at the photos <laughs> at the Tartarians, that's pre-1850, the pictures are clear the pictures are clear so what camera did he invent I, I just find it amazing I find it I find I find our history so it's just so much layers man it's you got to really want to know the truth because I, I do understand why a lot of people want to sleep but I over I also overstand it it's not that time it's that time to flip it you feel me people so Thomas Edison invented a camera apparently and he also founded Edison Illuminati Illuminating Company so so if there was a reset what was the reset to control control energy I'm more confident to control energy so if the last reset was 1850 and that was the old world order that would make it we are in the new world order then people we're 150 years deep <laughs> 150 years deep in the new world order everyone's crying about the new world orders coming out they are they are but at the same time the last reset was 1850 and that was to control energy so what's the new world order what are they trying to control from what i what, what from from me thinking it has to be with your footprints your travel your your movement that's what they're trying to control next that's the next reset to control your movement where you're going track you down if they don't know where you are, they can't do nothing, bro. This is why the flying cars ain't here. Because what's stopping man from flying out of this country anytime? <laughs> they have to regulate it. They have to regulate it. So the Tartarian Empire is a madness. I can't lie, it's a madness. It's a madness. But you know what? It actually links a lot of things to me because I once read that the ancient Egyptians or the people of Kemet were using electricity back then when the pyramids are being built yeah and they found electrical tools in the pyramids and they said they used the, the power of the stream of the Nile to charge those devices up and I heard that years ago so that links to me straight away to the Tartarian Empire yeah man so big up them archaeologists that found them electric tools because you never know you get me I never underestimate the power of the elements in the world people the river can be your best friend or can be your enemy you just gotta know how to treat it so yeah people that was knowledge bullet today on the Tartarian Empire I hope you lot liked that one there I hope I hope I gave you some edutaining news knowledge bullet yeah, this is Powers for Breakfast people my silver 100 eyes Powers, Powers.